From brand new cars to yachts and rare baseball cards, the list goes on for a couple of pages in these documents filed this week by the U.S. attorney. Agents claim Phelps applied for dozens of government loans for businesses, but most of these companies did not have employees and were not in operation at the time of the application. The agents say he would open accounts at several banks, either here in the Ozarks or online. That's right, a John Phelps got $1.1 million in PPP loan money and went on to purchase five cars, a yacht, two Rolexes, and $25,000 worth of sports cards from Golden Auctions. Without exaggeration. The cards, in case you are wondering, were a 1952 Topps, Jackie Robinson PSA 1, a Bird Magic Julius Irving signed rookie card, a 1909 Ty Cobbs white border, a triple autograph 2015 Panini Immaculate card of the same Bird Magic and Julius Irving. So he has good taste in cards. Felt says he is innocent and is working on ratting out one of his other business partners in Texas. We will keep you updated of anybody else who gets busted for PPP. Um, so buy Will Greer, and that's what I'm doing. I'm buying a bunch of Will Greer rookies right now. This was sent over a breaker on Facebook, was bragging about opening a product early. Apparently this is a huge source spot for dealers and can even get distributors and Panini themselves to stop selling to you. Breaker Bobby Nate says, who has a case of the No Football Monday Blues? Well, how about we get crazy? Because we try to give our members the best. I got my hands on a Hobby Direct case of Zenith early. If you know, you know. Yes, two days early just for you guys. Shh, don't tell anybody. First of all, if your idea of getting crazy is watching another man opening Panini America football product, we need to at least get blessed to take you guys out to the Cosmo on a Friday night. <laughs> Secondly, anything that relies on honor and integrity in this industry, like sticking to release dates, get thrown out the window. That's just the unfortunate situation. Garbage. What we've seen lately is fanatics allowing some breakers, like Backyard Breaks, and others to open product two days early or break it two days early before anybody else. Doing more to market their product is something card companies should have done for many years. But I guess when you sell out product for about the last 10 years, you can see why these companies aren't motivated to do that. One of the companies looking to cash in on the World Cup craze. Joining us here on set, Mark Warsup is CEO of sports memorabilia seller Panini America. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Speaking of backyard breaks, they posted this the other day. It appears breaks are being shown in the classroom. <laughs> Perhaps this is public school, so showing backyard breaks in a class is actually pretty tame. I'm getting old though, my heroes when I was younger were drug addicts and rock stars. You know, you know those kind of commercials where people are sitting there, you know, trying to sell aspirin or something or, you know, an AT&T commercial. That's what it looked like to me. It looked too contemporary. And... Kids these days worship men who buy and sell other pictures of men. Oh, oh my God! If you sell a lot on eBay, you might want to check out this video from One Million Cubs Project. He was having frustrations with getting overcharged on eBay when he was selling cards in bulk. He would sell 10 cards to somebody and get charged three different transactions on eBay of 30 cents each. When you have 35,000 cards listed like he does, this becomes a huge, massive problem. One Million Cubs Project emailed multiple employees at eBay for over a year, including the CEO of the company. He finally got on a Zoom call with somebody and they figured out that if you have multiple shipping options, it can mess with your fees quite a bit and there's probably nothing eBay is gonna do about it. I've linked the video in the description. I've time stamped it where he starts talking about it, how you can correct this and fix this and don't get overcharged. Please check it out if you sell a lot on eBay. He had to battle for that last yard, and he made it happen. Not sure what is going on with receivers Amon Ross St. Brown and his autograph. He's a really good receiver, so perhaps his hand just got tired from catching passes, but he's had a very consistent autograph for a number of years. But on a few of his contenders cards, you can see his autograph is very different. Could be nothing, could be just he was trying out like a little cursive style on a few of the stickers. But he is a good player, just something to consider if you're after his cards. Hey, Jason. Jeff, what's going on, man? Good to see you again. Thanks for coming. This building is huge. Hobby hero and PPP legend himself, Jeff Wilson, recently did a tour of ISA grading, which is owned by Jason Kuntz. Kuntz's name came up late in the 2019 card trimming scandal. His name appears on the official list 
of card trimmers on blowout sports cards. His name was on a document we published that was called the Anonymous PSA Insider Trimmer List. Kuntz has stated publicly, we have made him a lot of money over the years. I am not sure what he is referring to. Kuntz is a buddy of Gary V. He deals with a lot of high-end sports cards. So a lot of people in this industry are not going to say anything bad about Jason Kuntz, but just something to be aware of. This is a person connected to the card trimming scandal of 2019. He knows other people who trim and alter sports cards. He's owned this ISA grading company for quite a long time, but it just recently, he's kind of started a marketing push, kind of using influencers. So it's kind of weird, just something to keep an eye out for. Folks, let's end on a high note at the Plymouth Meeting Mall in Pennsylvania. They have a sports card buffet, guys. This comes from Katie Kohler, who works for BetMGM. Literally, it appears this actually happened. An old buffet turned into a sports card store. Some interesting use of the old decor in the buffet. Definitely might be worth checking out if you're in that area. But guys, until next time, everybody out there, spend your PPP money wisely, and we'll see you later. Yep, 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 yep.